this is Wilhelmina Ford here the time here is 9 46 in the evening we are now October 26 2020 we are almost end of 2020 as I've said to you we are now on October 26 2020 almost end of the year the reason why I'm here live is I have to explain the question of that particular buyer's agent asking if we deal MSS security in Conakry. That is a very good question. Okay. Okay. Stephen, if you are listening, in Conakry, the buyer has to follow the government regulation. The buyer cannot dictate the owner of the gold. The buyer has to send a formal letter of intent to purchase to identify himself. Stephen, if you're watching me, that buyer is just roaming around using you and he knows that gold is the world asset and he knows that gold is money he is buying okay MSS security is only a shipper we have our own shipper right my seller in Conakry Guinea he owned 10 concession and he shipped the gold directly to the main buyer and he has his own shipping agent in-house. They own Sabin company. They have a department by department. Mineral consulting is another department. And the shipping agent is another department. But the same umbrella. Now, there are so many buyers stranded in Conakry saying bring the gold to Central Bank, uh, brings to brings. That is a very good question. Now, Mr. Buyer, you have an account or MSS security. That is your responsibility. Your responsibility, your job, is to send us a formal letter of intent to purchase to identify yourself, who you are, where you're coming from, what business are you involved, why you want to buy gold in Conakry. That is the question from Wilhelmina. Now, Wilhelmina is the seller's marketing consultant based in Australia. I am the extension virtual online store. You can see Wilhelmina on YouTube. You can see Wilhelmina on Facebook. Okay, you click below. You add me on Facebook. You will be allowed to view my virtual page. And if you are on YouTube, you click below, subscribe. On YouTube, there's a saying, show more, you can see the full corporate offer. We don't need to send any more corporate offer, cut and paste. You already saw it by online, YouTube or on Facebook. Now, I'm going to answer Stephen's question. Okay, Stephen from Zambia. Uh-huh. I instructed the uh, Stephen go back to your buyer. <coughs> your buyer has an account MSS security in Guinea Conakry. Yeah, you will deal with that buyer provided Stephen you go back to your buyer, let your buyer read the full corporate offer so that he would understand what he is buying. The full corporate offer means. Our gold is 23 carats. The purity is from 96-97, right? The mode of payment is taken is really FOB. This is not CIF. Now, going back to uh, MSS security, we will hand over the gold after the buyer pay the gold because this is FOB. As a trial, you need to establish your business relationship with us 
So the buyer has to identify himself. Now, Mr. Buyer, I know you've been running around and chasing. You will never find the seller if you don't know how to identify yourself. Now, it's very, very clear, Mr. Buyer, what are you intend to purchase? Are you buying gold to make into jewelry? Or are you buying to make into industrial? Or are you buying to make into medical uses? Or computer spare parts? Gold has many uses. I always mention that in every video. Now, standard categories of gold is 24, 22, 18 carats, 14 carats, 12 carats, and 18 carats. Now, our gold is 20. 2.54 plus so it depends on the result of the assay now mr buyer our full corporate offer is already in front of you just read it thoroughly now you want to buy gold in conakry right the gold in conakry it's very easy when you have the cash it is very easy. This is bank to bank because of money laundering and gold laundering. Now, Mr. Baya Wilhelmina is the extension office here. I handle Konakri, Bamako Mali, and Sierra Leone. Now, Stephen asking me if we deal MSS security. We only deal when the buyer pay the gold. Now, Mr. Bayer, on how you secure gold in Conakry is really very clear and simple. You send a letter of intent to purchase coming from you, it's stating that you want to buy gold. 22 carats, 96 purity, for example. The mode of payment is FOB bank to bank payment transfer. So you come to the office after you send a letter of intent to purchase coming from you, Mr. Baya. Then we will review it. We will acknowledge your intention. But beforehand, I'm going to advise my head office. I need your business registration. I need your importation license. I need your passport copy. And you need to convince me that you have the money, the value of your order. Then I will advise my head office to proceed because I already interviewed you. So you only stay in Conakry maximum of nine working days. Why nine working days? Because when you transfer your payment, it depends on how fast from your end to the correspondence bank, then correspondence bank go to the seller's bank account. It would take three to four working days. So give them an allowance because of the time difference. After the payment would be cleared, Mr. Buyer, then that is the time the seller will process the export documentation. The export documentation, you will receive commercial invoice. You will receive the certificate of ownership. Um, you will receive that the gold is free of illegal activities. Right. Export license permit, the number would be on the documentation. You will receive an ASSE report from the central bank. We're talking about Conakry here. Then the airwebel, if you're going to ship it to your destination, you will be given an airwebel in order for you to inform your receiver. And the most important is custom clearance. So it's in here, Mr. Buyer. Now, before we're going to send you this um, certificate of ownership, you have to travel. You will be invited based on your order. So, beforehand, Wilhelmina will gather your business registration. Wilhelmina will gather your importation license. Wilhelmina will gather your full address, your company name, and the quantity, and your refinery address. So that we can put that on the SPA means contract. So when you send it to me because I already va validated you, then I will advise my head office to reserve your order. So you're going to state that on your letter of intent, 10 or 20 kilos. Then we will reserve subject for your arrival. Now you're going to be invited by the 
the seller, the seller in Conaco is Mineral Consulting Group of Company, right? So then, your order will be reserved subject for your arrival. So when you arrive, you come to the office, you will be met by the company driver, okay? And then stay in your hotel, you relax, then you will be taken to the office to inspect the gold which you order, right? So when you like it, then you make a partial down payment before the gold will be brought to the central bank to assay the gold right so if you want to come to central bank together during the assay we will state that on the letter of acknowledgement it will, to make sure that you are going to be there inside the central bank because the owner of the gold will inform the central bank that the buyer would be coming to as to inspect or to witness during the ASI. Why? The central bank is very, very strict. Very strict. They make sure who is coming into the building because of the robbery. So, we make sure that you are not a criminal. We make sure that you are not a hold upper. That is why Wilhelmina will screen you thoroughly. We need to know your business registration your importation license, where you're coming from, your full address. We have to put that into the contract and your refinery. So I would like to advise you, start a trial, right? Maybe 10 or 20. So then when you pay the gold, then that is the time you instruct MSS Security and Brinks. Now there is a subsidiary Brinks in Conakry. You have to do your research because I already contacted the subsidiary Brinks. The Brinks says to me, his name is David. I called David myself. I spend money in order to share with you the vital information. Vital information is worth million dollars here. But I've given you free information so that when you arrive in Conakry, everything is spot on. Now, according to David, he has no issue to come to the office to help the buyer to inspect the gold, to verify the gold. It's up to the buyer and the seller because the buyer has to sign a contract, nothing to do with Brinks. So if you're going to use the Brinks subsidiary, you have to open an account to Brinks in order to use their facilities according to David. There is a cost, 1650 he said. So that is not my job. It is your job to contact Brinks in Conakry subsidiary. has nothing to do with Brinks on the headquarters. They are franchisee. They are subsidiary. So, uh, according to David, we have no issue, madam. As long as the buyer pay the gold to the owner, then we will pick up the gold as the owner of the gold will provide export documentation because Brinks will not accept any gold without certificate of ownership that the buyer paid. That is fair. I said to David, yes, it's true. So Mr. Buyer, don't be a fool. Excuse my language. Don't be a fool that you're going to instruct us to bring gold to Brinks that you have not even met us. You have to come to the office, inspect first the gold. We will reserve subject for your arrival. You like it, then we will proceed to ask the gold to the central bank. Then that is the time when the your payment bank to bank be cleared by the by the head office bank account. Then you can instruct MSS security or brings to pick it up because you already paid. And you will be given a certificate of ownership, certificate that the gold is free of illegal activities and custom clearance. We will not hand over the gold to MSS security or brings without payment because the owner of the gold will not give his gold to any stranger. That is why we are very, very strict. Now, I already explained that on Conakry. Now, let's talk about Bamako Mali. Bamako Mali, exactly the same. You will be invited, state your order, 
We have tons of gold in Bamakumali and tons of gold in Conakry. So I already explained it to Conakry. Hey? <coughs> Let's talk about Bamakumali. Now, you place your order again. You are watching me on this video. Listen very carefully. So you will be invited to travel to Bamako, Mali in order to inspect what you order. Let's say 100 kilos, 200 kilos. There is no problem. We have tons of gold there. Recently, September 19, my head office sold 200 kilos of gold. They ship it to Dubai, FOB. Mm -hmm. The buyer pay 10 million 800. The buyer make a down payment of 30 percent so we give you if the big uh, order we will allow you to make a down payment 30 percent or 40 percent why that down payment will be used to pay the taxes a down payment will be used to pay his worker the wages because you are buying money so you will be given a receipt and also you will be there in order to inspect the quantity that you are going to to purchase now the gold will be as at dngm now on conakra and bamako mali go through the full corporate offer click below scroll below you will see the video on bamako mali you will see the dngm building that the biggest refinery now you're gonna say oh well amina i'm here in Bamako Mali, I want to buy gold to use KMR or Marina. We don't entertain buyers with no invitation. We make sure that when we invite the buyer, you are our company guest. You are a valued customer. If you are on the ground, I would not entertain you. Even in Bamako Mali or, Bam or Conakry, we always make sure that when the buyer comes, it is our valued customer that is how professional we are now in Sierra Leone exactly the same the gold will be as at GGO the same as my explanation I think I already explained from Conakry Bamako Mali and Sierra Leone exactly the same the procedure in front of you now buying diamond the diamond is already on my virtual page the manifest is a form of video we no longer keep sending manifest etc etc we will only give you the price when you select the the, um, the parcel now there are so many parcel on 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 um, diamond there's a fancy color there's a white i want you to go through first then when you view it then you tell me well i mean i want this parcel one i want this fancy color then that is the time we give you the price why most of you are liars most of you are fake pretending to be a buyer but actually you are not a buyer that is the reason why you've been running around and chasing and when i ask you to open your camera you're scared just like this um, this uh, buyer he's been talking to me for two years okay just a moment i'm going to i'm going to uh, go to messenger uh, whatsapp his name is i have to expose this you but you guys which i want to remove you your time waster right okay like um this buyer from india india is notorious of bargainer okay uh, purihat asmuk purihat purihat you've been uh, sending me a message okay and you know wellamina for two years and that two years until now you don't follow the the procedure of Sierra Leone. You cannot just ask me to bring diamond in Dubai without Kimberly certificate. You wanted me to bring the diamond in Dubai without knowing who you are. 
You don't even identify yourself. You're scared. And I requested you to send me your business registration and you didn't send it to me because you're scared. Why are you scared for? I'm the one who will reject you. I already rejected you. Yeah, because I don't believe you're a buyer. And then you offer me to be a partner and then you're going to give me 20%. I'm not interested. You buy gold and uh, diamond to my head office. I will accompany you if you're scared. So, Purihat, if you're watching me, your, your, your style is not workable. Another Indian, Pariyad Khan, he keep on sending me a message. We sent him a contract and he didn't follow the contract. And instead, he lied as well. He, he is a fool. Why he is a fool guy? We sent him the contract. And I told him, review the contract. And I want your passport copy because we have to apply for the visa for you. And at the end of the day, he said he doesn't have the money. So he's, he's going to screw us. And now he's begging me to send 30 grams in india and i told him we don't send we don't sell 30 grams because the gold has already been smelted into bar there is a minimum at least 10 to 20 kilos to purchase and he wanted me to send gold in india not knowing who he is <laughs> so again i rejected so you guys gold is not for everyone if you don't have the money don't be involved in this gold business because my head office would not send the gold to you unless you pay what we have to do we encourage you to build your trust with us you don't know us and we don't know you but you know Wilhelmina. you already met Wilhelmina, right Wilhelmina is the extension office my job is to receive the order mm -hmm. my job is to screen you whether you are really a buyer or not and my job is to reject you now there are so many brokers or buyers mandate cut and paste how many loi i throw it on trash can a lot hundreds mm -hmm. they, are, they have sophisticated loi but i couldn't see who is the buyer who is the buyer because we want to talk to the buyer itself because i'm going to interview the buyer and this person who sent me a sophisticated loi he doesn't want to open his camera and he said that his camera is uh, is faulty well if your camera is faulty don't be in don't talk to Wilhelmina because I want to meet you. I want to see you live video call. I want to know whether you're a buyer or not. Now, if you're a buyer's mandate, you should know your job. You should know your job because Wilhelmina would not enter in cut and paste. And Wilhelmina will start to remove you guys. We start to remove you because we're giving you an opportunity to read but still until now you don't comprehend what the procedure is all about now we are now almost end of 2020 i don't deal with time wister i don't deal with jokers anymore i have given you the opportunity read digest it and let your buyer understand that this is not cif this is not sblc this is not lc but you as a buyer's agent you don't read what happened your loi is on the trash can because i already explained it that this is not lc this is not cif cost insurance and freight only you have to pay the products that is normal. You have to pay the value, the added tax. That is normal. In your country, you buy the product plus value, the added tax. Our selling price, tax inclusive, 8%. Now, Mr. Buyer, I know you're scared to travel to Africa. I can understand that because you have been scammed before. I myself was also scammed in Ghana. That is why I don't want you to come to Ghana and I don't want 
to deal with Ghana because there is no much supply in Ghana. Most of gold in Ghana coming from Sierra Leone, coming from Burkina Faso, coming from Cameroon is smuggled, coming from Mali is smuggled, coming from the border is smuggled. We don't deal is smuggled because my seller is the one who produces gold and we want to sell it to you directly, Mr. Baya. We want to sell it to you directly and we give you a very good deal. Now, Mr. Baya, I think you watch my video from YouTube to Facebook. I always <coughs> emphasize, you need Wilhelmina to be with you. Why? I need to assist you in case there is an issue. I would be there for you to assist. And I might consider to ask my seller to give you more leeway. You need a very good negotiator. Your negotiator, your buyer's mandate is only thinking about the commission. I don't. I am here to assist you. I am here to help you, right? And I don't deal with chain of joker broker anymore. I'm telling you now, whoever you are, if you are working for your buyer, that's fine. You send me an LOI coming from the buyer. You will be paid. Don't be scared. Most of the joker broker, they scared to be circumvent. If you are working for your buyer, your buyer is paying you. Because once we give the discount to the buyer, buyer get his profit. Not you as a buyer's mandate. You will be compensated by your buyer, right? If your buyer doesn't pay you, Wilhelmina will allocate a gesture of goodwill. But don't demand because what we prepare to give a buyer a profit. Now, Mr. Buyer, when I travel with you, yes, I do charge my extra service to cover my travel cost like airfare, hotel accommodation, insurance, food, etc. That's all. But in spite of that, I will give you a rebate in a form of discount. We will discuss that when you come online video conference. You don't need a chain of joker broker, Mr. Buyer. You don't need. You buy direct from us. I am not a broker because if I'm a broker, I will chase you. We have the supply. You are going to chase us. There's a saying, he who has the gold makes the rules. The government is making the rules. You have to follow the golden rules of the government step by step. I think I already mentioned what you are going to secure, what export documentation that you're going to take when the gold leave the country of origin. Is that make sense now, Mr. Baya? In Conakry, we have tons of gold. In Bamako, Mali, we have tons of gold. Recently, we have buyers going to travel to Conakry. But unfortunately, because we are still locked down here in Australia, I told these two buyers, <coughs> you can travel, I will monitor your movement. But still, I will give you a very good deal. The two buyers is happy. And he did make a reservation. I think you can see that on my virtual page. Mm -hmm. So these two buyers is waiting for his landing visa because last uh, this month it was an election. So there is no foreigner allowed to enter into Conakry because of the election. So now the election is over. Mr. The president is Mr. Condi. So now we're going to start to process their landing visa. So we only deal with a buyer with invitation. I'm sorry, guys, if we are very strict because that is the instructions of the head office. Even in Bamako, Mali, the instruction is we don't entertain buyers with no invitation. Why? You are already on the ground window shopping, window shopping, comparing prices to prices. And you were being offered very cheap. But when you arrive on that ground, the price that um, the seller offer you is no longer a price because there is a hidden cost. Now, in our case, there is no hidden cost. Our price is tax inclusive. I myself requested my seller to waive the tax on the first trial so that for you to feel comfortable. But on the second shipment, yes, we will review that. 
that's normal you always pay the product plus value tax that is normal you cannot avoid that because my head office will remit that to his government in order to use that to develop their country infrastructure look at bamako mali they are now progressive because the government are trying to remove the corruption every country there is always a corruption view the bamako mali they are now in progress they they have a huge long bridge yeah the investors are there chinese are there australian mining company is there in conakry in bamako mali and in sierra Leone. canadian company the russian company and you as a small timer you your eyes is bigger than a dollar you're asking for cif i'm sorry when you ask for cif on your loi immediately your letter obinton would be on trash can i have to be straightforward with you guys there is no roaming around there is no mucking around there is no hidden cost you only pay 100 dollars per kilo when you ask the gold to central bank when you ask the gold to dngm when you ask the gold to ggo there is a cost yes 100 dollars per kilo i think i already explained that mr buyer as i've said to you i will summarize it if you want brings that is your responsibility you pay first the gold then you instruct your brings if you want some g4s that is no problem you pay first the gold then you instruct g4s g4s is everywhere in africa g4s headquarters is based in united kingdom so you as the buyer it is your responsibility so you as a buyer you need to travel you need to build your business relationship with us but because i couldn't travel because we are still locked down i will monitor your movement but you need to be honest, Mr. Buyer. I need to show, I need you to show me your proof of fund, your bank statement, the value of your order. Mm -hmm. So that when you travel to Africa, when you travel to Conakry, Bamako, Mali, and Sierra Leone, it is running smoothly. No hassle, no surprises. The seller knows that you are there as their customer you are there to do business seriously yeah so that is the reason why from today i'm no longer dealing with joker broker if you're a buyer's mandate you let your buyer sign an nc nda because i'm not interested i prepare to deal directly to the buyer because the buyer can make a decision not you guys not the buyer's mandate mm -hmm. The buyer has to send a letter of intent to purchase coming from him, not cut and paste. A minute you're going to send me cut and paste, goodbye. You will be rejected. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant good evening. I think I already explained it. That is why I pop in live in order to answer the question of this um, buyer that I have, that I have rejected. Right. Uh, like uh, Muhat. Mm -hmm. uh, for hit Mohit, I know him for two years. Until now, he cannot find the diamond. He asked me to bring diamond to Dubai. Without KPC, you're gonna be arrested as a smuggler. Kimberly certificate is the most important. It shows that the diamond is free of blood diamond. Without KPC, I'm sorry guys, we don't gamble it. We are not a smuggler my seller cannot afford to lose his business registration if the government found out that the seller involved in smuggling both of you are gonna be arrested yes that's why i'm warning you guys there are so many illegal activities using gold and diamond mostly are criminals mostly the money their money is dirty money that is why you're scared to show your face don't be scared if you want this business you do properly mm -hmm. believe me you're gonna be exposed if you're gonna be if you're gonna do monkey business with us especially to this lady in front of you that is why i always be on live in order to explain to you guys there's so many buyers has been duped why have you been duped mr buyer because you were not being guided you just rely on your buyer's mandate 
one guy from America, he's in Ghana, he lost one million dollars. Yep. Another American lost money as well. Then one Israel went to Ghana, lost money. Why? Because they're looking for cheap price. Don't you know that gold is not cheap? Don't you know that gold is money you're buying? Look at this big company. They are using gold as a backup for cryptocurrency. Yeah. And you guys, you think that, oh, I, I'll be involved in gold business? Yes. As long as you have capital. Yes. We have gold. You're buying directly to the main producer. And Wilhelmina is the one who will help you to get a very good deal. Remember our selling price. It says, it says here on this video, click below, you scroll down, right? And click on the link. You will see very extensive FCO. I explain it everything. I provide you who we are and who is Wilhelmina. Pay attention. Don't rush. You are buying half a million dollars here. Don't worry about this buyer's mandate. They don't help you, Mr. Buyer. I am here to help you instead. <laughs> because I want you to come back with us. I want you to sign a long-term contract. Not a short term. We don't sell 30 grams here. We have a requirement that minimum at least 10 to 20 kilos. Yeah. However, if I'll be satisfied with you, if you can send me your business registration, a copy of importation, I might consider to allow you to get 5 kilos to start with. I might. But you have to convince Walamina. Mm -hmm. We don't sell 1 kilo, 2 kilos anymore. We don't. This is the instructions of my seller. So I think I already explained it. Thank you very much. And please don't be afraid with Walamina. Come on Skype. Come on WhatsApp. I want you to download on Skype. I want to see you. You already see Walamina. This is my office. I am here to receive your order. I am the extension. That is why the company hired me. But when I travel with you, yes, I do charge my extra service. If you cannot afford to pay my extra to cover my travel cost, to me, you are not a buyer. To me, you are just a joker. This is not a joke business. Which one you like? You want Wilhelmina be with you and you're going to get a very good deal and when you get the gold and rough diamond running smoothly. Why? I know Africans are fickle minded. I know Africans seller are very hard to deal with. I've been to Africa before lockdown. African sellers are fickle minded, Mr. Baya. Yes, if I am there on the ground, that seller would not change his mind because I will arrive the day before you arrive. I make sure I have instructed the seller, hey, we have the buyer here. Huh? Make sure that the buyer will be happy with us. So this, this the sellers are really, they are not exposed on international marketing. That is why they hired me. Mm -hmm. So just a moment. Yeah, someone. Yes, Cider, good evening. Cider, I'm live. I'm live, Cider. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I'm live at the moment. What can I do for you? Yes, please. How are you? I'm fine. I can see you. Uh -huh. I can see uh, you. Yes. Okay. Tell me, what can... What can what can I do for you? What uh, agenda to be discussed? Madam, yes. Those people, video calls or hide their face are criminal. That's I agree on you. I agree. They are scared of Madam. me. They are scared of me. Yes. Yes. They are thieves and they are criminals. Yes. If you are. If you're if you're a broker or if you are a buyer or a seller, you have no reason to hide your face. If you hide Correct. your face, you're a criminal. You're they're, scared. they're scared. They're scared of me. They don't want to show their face yeah. live. They're scared. They're thieves. They're criminal. They are doing illegal activities. That is the reason why. Yeah. Exactly. Just Only like that one uh, Jewish, I was into a Jewish buyer. Yeah.
I was talking to a Jewish buyer, and, um, well, he would never come on video call. He's a criminal then. He's involved with the illegal uh, activities, yeah. either, either launderer, either he's a diamond launderer or gold launderer. Go ahead, I'm listening to you. But then this morning, I called him, I pressured him, called him, called him, called him, called him, called him, and he answered. He did answer? Yes, I saw him face to face. Yeah. He had a question. Yeah. And that said, okay, fine. If you can do that, then we can proceed with business. Okay, and what did he say to you? Okay, sure. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That's all he did? Uh, or he just went to Chapa? I'll tell you, there was, I think, uh, six years ago, there was a seller from, uh, from Botswana, and he went to Israel. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And this seller from uh -huh. Botswana, he found me on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And he'd been watching my YouTube, okay. and he said, you are really such a wonderful person. I said, why? He went to Israel, and he brought the diamond, okay? And so Israel went to Botswana, and he said, okay, you bring the diamond to Israel. We will do business with you. What happened? This Israel buyer, right, and this uh, poor African, he checked into the hotel six hours after five goons knock knock at his room and he was being tied up oh my god and uh, he said where is the diamond mm -hmm. oh my. so this poor african is from Botswana, and uh, he was crying to spare his life he gave his diamond he returned to africa empty-handed mm -hmm. Another from Sierra Leone went to New York uh, three years ago and he was being invited by the buyer from New York and he was being booked on the cheapest motel in New York in Queenstown. You know Queenstown is notorious area. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was being booked on the very cheap motel. He's bringing one million dollars worth of diamond and uh, the buyer pretending to be a buyer, he's a notorious buyer from New York. And uh, again, gun on his head. He returned to Sierra Leone oh. empty handed. Oh my and that God. diamond doesn't belong to him, belong to the community. But because he has the license oh to carry and he gambled it, yeah, he was being, hmm, chuk chuk, again last year. My seller as well lost 450 <laughs> kilos again. So I told myself, why did oh. you believe on this buyer? Why? So when I was in the office, I told my seller, from now on, don't believe on any buyer. If the buyer cannot show his proof of fund, bank of statement that he has million dollar, then he is a buyer. But if the buyer asking LC, CIF, is BLC, to me he is a buyer, he's a joker. Yeah. Correct. See? My seller in Mali went to, uh, went to Istanbul. He lost uh, gold. Yeah. So there is a certain thing that buyer and seller also lost, buyer lost money, the seller also lost gold, vice versa. Yeah. Of course. That is the reason why yes. I don't. Please, I will have to come. I will have to put our chat a bit short because I am receiving a call All right. from one of my partners. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for your Thank call. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. That's right. Okay. I was being interrupted. I was talking to Mr. Sider. It's true. It's true. That is why everybody knows me. I don't know them, but a minute they saw my beautiful face. <laughs> They're scared of this woman. I don't know. Don't be scared with me, guys. I am guiding you thoroughly. Because this gold and diamond business is really, this is not for you if you are very tricky. This is really very tricky business. 
and a very dangerous business. Some of the buyers are criminals. Some of the buyers, their money coming from illegal activities. That is why I was being instructed by my seller to make sure that the buyer is real and make sure the buyer has a proof of fund in his bank account. And if the buyer asking CIF or is BLC, that buyer is a bigger. Why you're a bigger? You don't have cash. You're going to ask the bank to borrow money to use our contract to leverage so Africa would not entertain. I want you to start a trial. Build your business credibility to us. Then you increase it. Don't be rushed. Because I'm telling you, if you fail, if you rush, you're going to fail. That is the reason why I always mention on every video, you need Wilhelmina to be with you as your negotiator. Yes? What is my airfare? We will discuss that when you come on conference. We will discuss how much I'm going to charge my extra service. If you cannot afford my extra service, to me, you are not a buyer. You're not. You are just a time waster. We only deal buyer that can afford to pay. We can only deal with a buyer that really big buyer, big spender. A small spender asking 30 gram. I'm sorry. We're not. We are not. And we will not bring the gold to you guys. And we will not bring the diamond to you unless you inspect first. And then when you like it. Then the government will re-inspect the stone and will value it. Be ready that you have money to make a down payment before the KPC will be issued by the Department of Mine. So the balance, you have to transfer that bank to bank in order for the Department of Mines to see the cash inflow that reflect into the seller's account. Mm -hmm. So does anybody... Explaining to you, none whatsoever, even broker, would not explain to you. I've been to Africa recently before lockdown. Mm -hmm. I know ins and out of Africa. You must remember I was a victim in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Buyers are liars. Sellers as well, deceitful. They are scrupulous. They're devious. That is the reason why I don't want to deal Ghana. A few hours ago, someone from, I think... This guy, his name is, uh, okay, just a minute. He keep on sending me a message. He said he has a buyer in Ghana. I said, no, I'm not interested in Ghana. Okay. This is the, okay, the buyer. Victor Rufus. Victor, if you're watching me, unfortunately, Victor, I wouldn't able to help you. And I told you that before, I don't want to deal Ghana. I was once a victim in Ghana. I fired all of my seller in Ghana. So if you have the buyer, why not just assist them? Call them. Call the sellers in Ghana. I have sellers in Ghana. I fired them all. They're devious. Yeah. I was being screwed. So I wouldn't touch Ghana. No. There's so many foreigners that has been scam in Ghana. So many. One American, one million. There's another American. He killed himself because he come to Ghana to invest. Uh, he used investors' money and he failed. What happened? He's ashamed to face his investor. He killed himself. Mm -hmm. There was a Chinese lady as well. Was scammed two million. There was a, a guy from Taiwan was also scammed. And there was a buyer from Japan was also scammed. Well, because you are looking for cheap price. Why not just, <coughs> excuse me, why not just deal properly? <coughs> why not? Why not just pay a proper way so that you will be guided? Mm. So that is how it works. So please, don't be, dece don't be deceitful. Don't allow any offer to deceive you. Okay? In real estate, I used to be in real estate. <clears throat> we use junk property to sell it. Yeah? I used to be in real estate. I'm semi-retired now. When in Australia, everything must be online. 
our picture, our property must be at the search engine in Australia called www.realestate.com.au. All our picture must be online in order for the buyer to see. I was the one who introduced this. I was the one, no such broker showing their faces. Now, while I was in real estate, I couldn't stomach it. Mm -hmm. We are using junk properties. So, the buyer said, ring, ring. There is an acreage, 25,000 acreage. Ring, ring, ring. So, Wilhelmina, I saw that uh, acreage there. I said, oh, uh, would you like to come over to the office? Mm -hmm. So, we will not tell the buyer. So, I'll come to the office. So, where is the $25,000 per, uh, the 25 acres? I said, I'm sorry. The acreage was already sold. Mm -hmm. So, I couldn't stomach the lies. So, I said, I'm sorry. I couldn't help you. Probably, I can offer you nice property close to your, to your place. Mm -hmm. So, that is how real they are teasing you. Exactly the same that the seller offer you cheap price. We are teasing you in order to grab the cheap offer. And then when you arrive in Africa, that cheap offer is no longer cheap offer. There's a lot of surprises. To us, you don't have any surprises. Because I already explained it to you. The full corporate offer is in here, in front of you. You only pay... $100 per kilo. If you go into hand carry, you don't need to ship, pay the shipping cost. <clears throat> but if it's a big quantity, yes. You have to pay the shipping cost and insurance. 2% on the total sale value. Eh? So, is there any question, Mr. Buyer? There is no surprises anymore. You pay the gold. If you hand carry, you don't pay shipping cost and insurance. But if you're going to Ship it to your destination, yes. You need to pay the shipping cost. Yes, you need to insure it. Why? That is for your own benefit. What happened if the gold has been stolen during the shipment? So you need to insure it. Yeah, because you are already given an ownership. So therefore, you have to insure. In case the gold has been stolen, then you can claim that to your insurance. Does that make sense, Mr. Baya? I think so. Yeah, now I bought this one, right? This is what I ordered online. Mm -hmm. This one. I paid in advance. Now I order another cardio modic, cardio uh, blood pressure. And I order a um, language interpreter because I'm going to travel to Africa. Some of the local doesn't speak English, so I have an interpreter. I purchased that $300, and I paid in advance. Yeah, I'm not worried. Buying gold is not an advance. You inspect, you travel, you inspect, you like it, you pay the deposit. Yeah, that's not an advance. But remove your mentality. There is no advance. You inspect first, you like it, Mr. Buyer. I would like you to spend money to buy gold tester. Huh? There is five thousand. The most expensive one is twenty-two thousand dollars. Why? I did call United States office. The very sophisticated uh, gold tester, just like a gun. If you're a big company, buy it. If you want to buy long term, you buy that gold tester. You come to the office, you test the gold before the gold to be assay, because you need an assay report from the government yeah so everything is really well thoroughly explained in front of you if you're a cheap buyer then you're expecting disaster you don't have the money don't travel if you have less capital don't be involved if you don't have money at least half a million dollars okay so i have two buyers i've given the two buyers fifty-four thousand times um then $540,000. He showed his banking details. Your banking details would not go to other third party floating around. It would be kept within us. I will protect your identity. 
But don't muck around with Wilhelmina. Don't. Because I'm very dangerous if you muck around with me. I'm going to expose you. <laughs> so, do it properly. I am with you in order to get the supply. But, don't screw me. Because if you screwed me while I'm on the ground, exactly with these two gentlemen, they screwed me. I'm not, I, I respect him. And he asked me not to be exposed. He doesn't have the money. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Buyer, please, don't travel without Walamina. I'm telling you, 100%, if I'm not around with you, well, expect. But, there is always, um, to call this, uh, provision. I will monitor your movement until December. So, if you can wait, January. But I have already two buyers. I told him that I will monitor your movement. He is buying gold in Conakry. <laughs> I'm very confident in Conakry because I have a transaction last year and this year successful. And Mr. Bayer, if you're watching me, you already had a reservation with us. Your landing visa is, uh, is on the process right now. Mm -hmm. So I will monitor your movement. Don't worry. Will Amina be with you? I will monitor your movement and I will give you the number of my of the company driver and also the owner. I'll give you direct number, the son of the owner. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to worry. I would be with you. But I've given you a very good deal that is an incentive from Wilhelmina. Mm -hmm. So when you return on second shipment, I would be meeting you in the office. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant good evening. The time here now is 10.42 in the evening. <laughs>